Today's question is about similarity. The mass of two similar cans is 960 grams and 15,000 grams. If the total surface area of the smaller can is 144 square centimeters, determine the surface area of the larger can. Now, in this question, we are given the surface area of the smaller can and we are required to determine the surface area of the larger can. In order to compare the two surface areas, we'll be required to determine the area scale factor. But from what we are given in the question, we are given the masses of the two similar cans, which we can only use to get the volume scale factor because mass varies directly as volume. So the ratio of the masses is equivalent to the volume scale factor. So let's begin by determining the volume scale factor. So the volume scale factor is the ratio of the two masses, that is 960 grams over 15,000 grams. Now this should give us 8 over 125 when simplified. Now from the volume scale factor, our aim is to determine the area scale factor. So first of all, we will get the linear scale factor from the volume scale factor. So the linear scale factor is the cube root of the volume scale factor. So we get the cube root of 8 over 125 and that is 2 over 5. Now with the linear scale factor, we can therefore determine the area scale factor. And the area scale factor is the square of the linear scale factor. That is 2 over 5 squared. That is 4 over 25. Now from here, we can come and say, if we let the surface area of the larger can be x, so let the surface area of the larger can be x, then the area scale factor, which is 4 over 25, should be equal to the ratio of the area of the smaller can to the area of the larger can. So the surface area of the smaller can, we are told, is 144. So just as we have here, and then we'll have that over the surface area of the larger can, which is x. So we have that over x. Cross multiplying, we will have 4x is equal to 25 times 144. Dividing both sides by 4, we're going to have the value of x as 900 square centimeters. So this is the surface area of the larger can, just as had been desired in the equation. With that, we mark the end of the solution to this problem. Thank you for watching.